What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to give you my new favorite leads. These are leads that I think that you should be calling right now. And no, I'm not talking about circle prospecting, which is generally my favorite and has always been my go-to and my bread and butter, but that's not what I'm talking about today. I'm talking about something completely different. And today I'm gonna to share with you what these leads are. I wanna give you the script that I think that you should be using with these leads and also I am going to be making live calls this Thursday 4 p.m. Central right here on this YouTube channel calling these exact leads. That way you can watch me in action and see how I'm capitalizing on this opportunity. Before we get started on that, please go ahead and click the like button and comment below. I want to know what leads that you are working with right now. Who are you cold calling? Are you getting internet leads? You know, open house. What are you doing? Okay, what leads are you working with? What strategy is behind it? And what success are you seeing? I really want to see what you guys are doing, what success you're having, and I really want to evaluate that moving forward so I can kind of see what works and what doesn't work in the industry right now. Also, huge announcement if you haven't heard already, we have switched the Naples and the Atlanta live event with myself and Coach Burt to a virtual event July 20th. Now, we're still going to do the live events in Naples and Atlanta, but we have to wait until coronavirus is gone. So for now, we're going to do an all-day live event virtually, and it's going to be one for the books. Let me promise you that this is going to be well worth your time. Okay, and when you buy a ticket to the virtual event, you're automatically in for the Naples or the Atlanta event. So this is huge, huge value, only $49. Spend the day with myself and Coach Burt all day virtually on July 20th. You're also invited to come hang out with us in person Okay, in Naples or Atlanta, once we know coronavirus is gone and we can reschedule those events. Okay, so I'm gonna put a link in the description below or just email me, ricky at zerodiamond.com for more information or where you can get tickets for that and any other questions that you might have. Okay, let me get into my new favorite leads and the exact script I'm gonna be using live this Thursday. By the way, I'm gonna put a link to the live in the description of this video, so go ahead and go there and click the notification bell so that you can get notified as soon as I go live. Now, the reason why these are my new favorite leads and why I probably never did these in the past or when I was coming up in the industry and building my business and so forth and so on is because this literally did not exist when I was coming up. I wish, I wish that this even existed when I was building my business and making these hundreds of thousands of calls, but I didn't, so I have to live with that. I have a great business, so I can't complain there, but I want you to take full advantage of this situation. And what kind of leads am I talking about? I'm talking about old expireds. Yes, old expireds are my new favorite leads. I love them, okay? I think that you should go back a year, maybe even two years, and get the complete list, the complete thousands and thousands of, of numbers, okay, from old expireds, and just chip away at that list. Chip away, chip away, chip away. It's just like circle prospecting with a twist, and it's even better. I'm telling you, I really, really love this strategy. Let me get into the strategy. Now, the reason why this didn't exist when I was coming up in the business is because I didn't have a system like Red X where you could literally just go there and just pull up all the old expires. Okay, if I wanted to do it back in the day, I would have had to literally, you know, work through each expired, you know, copy and paste addresses and Spokio, Bigfoot, whitepages.com and find numbers. It was just a just treacherous process and there was just really no reason for me to, to do that, okay? I just, you know, it was, it was too much research. It was much easier for me to circle prospect because I'm copying and pasting addresses. It's much easier for me to just take a subdivision and da 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 right through the list uh, of property owners in one subdivision rather than random people all over the place going back and forth um, it just didn't make sense to me uh, at the time. So my market, 
you know, we have very few expireds on a daily basis. Not enough to really worry about pounding expireds, the new expireds coming out. Okay, and that's one reason I never did expires is because there were only a couple, right? And so it took me three seconds to call those five people, one person answered or something like that. So it just wasn't worth it to me. Now I need volume, okay? I want volume in my business. I want to be able to sell quickly. I want to go after it. I want unlimited possibilities. And expires just didn't offer me that, you know, when I was coming up. Now we have Red X. Red X, you can literally go and get all the old expireds. <laughs> this is golden, okay? This is absolute gold, all right? And you guys can save $150 on Red X in the link in the description or go to zero2diamond.com, save the $150 setup fee. They waive that for people that know me or go through my coaching program. So you have no excuses there and it's month to month. Okay, try it out. If you don't like it, cancel it the next month. But get in there and get a list of the old expireds. I'm telling you, this is the this is one of the top. This and circle prospecting to me should be everyone's bread and butter and go to. Right? Use the old expires, get a listing, then circle prospect around the listing. <laughs> I mean, it, it's it to me it's a no-brainer it's very cheap and the most effective thing you can do let's get into the script okay when I'm calling old expires these expires could be a year old six months old one month old you know just depending on your market and what you're doing and where you start on the list and how far you go back and all that good stuff okay but let's say we're going for old expires and this expire you know, happen in November. Now, one thing I want to tell you, I'm not going to cross-reference this list and try to find out how many of these properties resold, how many are relisted, if any of them are listed right now, I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, I just want to contact people and guess what? When I'm calling them, I'm having fun. Okay, this should be fun to you. You should be calling people up and having a blast. Okay, People in different countries, um, third world countries, people that do hard labor, people that are stuck on their nine to five would absolutely love, absolutely die for the opportunity to make a living sitting in an office making calls, calling people on the phone, seeing how they're doing, seeing what we can do to help them. People would die to have this kind of job and to make a living doing this. And most of you are complaining about making calls or not making calls, okay? And you're not succeeding at the level that you want to succeed at. And you're not doing the things that you need to do to succeed, right? And you're not even trying to have fun with it, right? This should be a fun job. This is a blessing to be able to make a living doing this, right? And you need to take advantage of it. It's ridiculous if you're not. Now, let's say this expired happened in November, okay, and we're going to call him up, ring, 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 hello. Hey, Mr. Johnson. Hey, Mr. Johnson, it's Ricky Carruth down at EXP Realty in Gulf Shores. How you doing today? Good. I'm enjoying the day, man. Isn't it gorgeous outside? Cool. Well, look, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I see that your house on whatever road was for sale back in November. Whatever happened with that? BAM! There it is, right there, guys. It's as simple as that, okay? Whatever happened with that, and then bingo, they're going to start spilling the beans. They're going to start telling you a crazy story, long story, short story. They're going to give you all the information of everything going on, what happened. Maybe they relisted it and sold it. Maybe it's listed right now. Maybe they didn't sell it at all. Whatever the case may be, they're going to tell you everything. <laughs> they're just going to give it all up. And what are you going to do with that information? Number one, we're going to listen and we're going to input that information into our mind and put ourselves in position to help this person with whatever the situation is. So we're just going to kind of take it from there. And remember, it's all about tone. It's all about speed of voice. It's all about giving them that F.E., friend or family effect. We want them to feel like they are our brother, mother, cousin, best friend from high school. That's how we want to talk to them. 
That's the feeling we want them to have. We want them to feel comfortable with us. This is where having fun making your calls comes in handy because that's why people are going to feel comfortable with you and want to do business with you because they can feel that you're having fun. They can feel that you're comfortable. They realize that you're there just to help them, right? And then you follow through with actually helping them. Now, of course, we're going to ride the conversation out and take it to a place where we try to make something happen. And we always, either way the conversation goes, we want to grab that email address and make sure that it's okay that we stay in touch. Right. So from there, regardless of what happened in the conversation, we can start to build our personal brand with that person for the rest of our lives. OK, we're going to build our personal brand forever with this person. And that's where the magic in the business is. I was telling an agent the other day that the number one way and the number one activity to scale your business is to have the one-on-one -on -one conversations, right? The reason why that I am where I am right now, I'm able to sell 100 properties a year with just a weekly email, no cold calls, no no kind of other no other kinds of marketing of any source, just a weekly email is because of the personal brand that I built through the one-on-one -on -one conversations over the years. I literally scaled my business through the thing that people think isn't scalable. Right, but it's scalable because those one-on-one -on -one conversations turn into relationships that yield 10 to 20 deals over the life of your career. And those deals end up yielding more deals and more deals and more deals. And it's a snowball of a monster of a business. Okay, so you should be taking full advantage of this opportunity. Go to Red X, okay, click the link in the description, go to zerodiamond.com, save the $150, and begin the process. You also need to grab Geo Leads for when you get a listing, then you're gonna look up the subdivision, call all the owners around that listing, okay, and continue on and push the momentum. Keep pushing as hard as you can. Don't let your foot off the gas. As soon as we grab momentum, we wanna continue pushing even harder to grab more momentum and more momentum and more momentum. Okay, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you like the new strategy here. It's really not really a new strategy, right? It's just something I've been thinking about a lot lately. And since my last live cold calls were called expired listings, I just had so much fun with those. And I really wanna dive into this live this Thursday, 4 p.m. Central. Be there, it's gonna be a blast. We'll see you guys soon. Let me know if there's anything in the world I can do for you. If you have any questions, leave your comments below. We'll see you guys in the next video. Let's go. Boy, think you need a life for the ideas. I'm in the splash zone with the brain waves. I shoot for stars up in my aim straight. I lay in the sand, line in the